We continue with our conflict process. We already went through stage 1 and stage 2 and in this video we are going to talk about stage 3 which is called the intentions. Why intentions? Well, because the conflict already arose and it is out there. And now we are going to see what kind of intentions are uh, individuals having when handling the conflict. Are they going to, uh, let's say, try to compete, to collaborate and so on and so on. So we will look at all of these. And we are going to take a look upon two dimensions. The first dimension that is interesting for us is the cooperativeness. So what are the intentions when it comes to the cooperativeness? And secondly, what are the intentions when it comes to the assertiveness? So these are the two, uh, what we call a dimensions. Dimension. So let's take a look at them. Cooperativeness is the degree to which one party attempts to satisfy the other party's concern. Well, that's quite a quite an interesting thing. If you are an, an individual or a group and you are trying to really satisfy other people, other individuals, then you are considered to be cooperative. But if you are not cooperative, then you care more about yourself only. Then we have assertiveness, the degree to which one party attempts to satisfy his or her own concerns. So let's say you have some desires or some goals and now the assertiveness is asking um, how, how much are you trying to satisfy these your own goals or desires. But what is so nice about this model, and I really like it, is that both of these dimensions are talking about the degree. So we can write a simple graph where we can uh, display all of these different intentions. So let's say a graph. So right over here we have low cooperativeness, here we have high cooperativeness, right over here we have low assertiveness, and high assertiveness. And now what we can do is that we can literally just take all of these, it's one, two, three, four, five of, of these uh, behavior or intentions that can occur and place them into this graph. So first one that comes to my mind is the simplest one, avoiding. Well, when you are avoiding a conflict, you are trying to withdraw, to go away from it. Well, in that scenario, you are not really cooperative and not really assertive. You are not really trying to satisfy other parties' concern and you are as well not trying to satisfy your own concerns. You are just avoiding the conflict. So we can place avoiding, avoiding right over here. Now, let's think of, let's say, competing. That should be, that should be quite simple. You are trying to really satisfy your own goals, but you don't care about other parties. So we have low cooperativeness and at the same time high assertiveness. So somewhere here we would have competing. competing. Now let's see what about what about accommodating? accommodating. You are trying to accommodate to other people's concerns and their opinions. So you don't really that much care about yourself. So we are going to be on low assertivity and high cooperativeness. So accommodating can be right over here. Accommodating. Accommodating. So you are really taking care about the other parties. Now, the ideal situation is collaborating. That is the dream of many organizations. In that scenario, you have a high cooperativeness, but at the same time, high assertiveness. So we can have collaborating right over here, collaborating. And finally, there is compromising. I think all of us know what a compromise is. It is somewhere in between. You are at the same time trying to satisfy your own concern, but you care about the other party's concern. So it's going to be somewhere in the middle. So compromising, compromising is somewhere here. So as you see, in this video, we have talked about the intentions that parties, individuals or groups may have when it comes to some conflict. 